Okay, so <clears throat> so last time we we did the um, the chord C and F, and and I had you play them note by note. So let's let me just check one last thing and make sure there's no okay. All right. Okay, so um, so what we're going to do is we're going to play the C chord and then we're going to play um, the F chord. So I want you to do this really slowly. And remember, I want your thumb to be like this, not like that. You're going to go for the C chord and then the F chord. All right. So Allison, let's have you start. Did you get your ukulele, Allison? It's gorgeous. Wow, it's so beautiful. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, I, it came like two hours ago. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so exciting. Yeah, I love it. It is the action, the action. Is that what you call the-, um, the Yeah, like the how hard it is to press down the strings. Yeah, it's so much easier than the other one. Yeah, oh you know, that's the thing with paying more for a uke is you do get, you get much nicer action and they set it up for you. And that yes. makes a huge difference in buying a new ukulele. So if you ever buy a ukulele that you spend more than $100 on or more than 150, make sure that the dealer sets it up for you. So they make sure that everything is the right, the right um, height from the, your strings are all good and everything. And that way you'll make sure, um, I have a really nice ukulele that has a buzz in it and it's because it wasn't set up and my brother gave it to me and he didn't test it before he realized and by then he couldn't return it and it's not worth, it's too expensive to fix. So, so if you get an expensive uke, if you spend 150 or more, make sure that you get it set up and I can tell you all about that if you get in that position. Okay, so let's hear you play the C chord and then the F chord. Okay, one string at a time, is that what you said? Yes, just like that. Okay. Nice. See, now I have to get used to this one now. Very nice. And a beautiful tone. And then the F. Okay, now you're doing this, which is going to make your sound shorter. You want your, you want your, your strings to ring out. So do this. I'm not sure I understand what angle okay. to get that well, moon look. Look at my fingers real closely. So I start out with the moon and then I go like this. So you're doing this. I don't want you to bend your thumb that way. There you go. Do that again. But what, what part of my thumb am I going to hit it with though? This the... part right here. So it's like you're going like this against the string. You're pulling against the string, pulling it, pushing it, pushing against, pushing that way against the string. Do it again. Go ahead and put your, your hand underneath your uke like this when you do it. Put this right here. hand underneath the uke bring it up okay. a little higher on your neck a little higher on your neck a little more close to this a little more this way we're talking about your right hand uh-huh uh. okay and i want it more like this where you're where you're holding right here okay, okay. so you're yeah there you go now now bring it against There you go. And you that's and you want to get in the habit of doing it that way. Do you hear how your strings ring? Sometimes you'll play like that because you want to get that ring. And I want you to make sure that you learn how to do this because this is a really nice sound. You do not want your thumb to be like that. If your thumb is like this, like Leanne, I'm seeing your thumb more like this. I don't want it like that. I want it like this. So it looks like a moon. There you go. Okay. All right, Allison, play the F for me now. Okay, <laughs> really. Okay, so I can hear it. You're doing, you're doing fine. Okay. Okay. All right. So now, Leanne, let's have you do it. C chord. Okay. There we go. Now you're playing like this. I want put your hand put your hand further up here, Leanne, like here. So it's actually 
touching the fretboard. Look at the difference between our hands. Your hand is like this, and I want your hand like this. This hand? Yes, and I want it more like this. Okay. Not so spread out. Okay. I guess that doesn't matter so much. But see, you're playing way back here, and I want you to play up here. And that's why I want you to put your hand up more. There you go. Yes, perfect. That's exactly right. Look at your hand while you do it and see. Look at your strumming. Okay, press down a little harder with your fret hand. Press down a little harder with, with this, with the hand on your frets. Okay, just play this string for me. Get rid of that buzz there. Now, Leanne, remember you don't want to have your fingers all down here. You want them up here. Okay? Put your hand up like this with just this one finger down. So these two fingers should be up here and just this one finger is down. And that way you have more, you can press wood with your other finger with your thumb. So okay. That's where your press, your pressure is between like the thumb and that finger. Do it again. Try, are your fingernails short? Yeah. Okay, and you're not touching either of the fret bars, right? Right, that was better, wasn't it? It was better. Just do this one for me. This is the one that's not sounding good. Just this note. I don't want to hold that any different. You see, can you hear that? Okay, take your finger off of it and do it for me. Now do it, now do it just for me. Okay, so the part of the problem is that you're, you're really pulling on that string. Don't pull, you just want to brush against it. See, I'm just, just brush, just the string. Just do this string for me by itself, just this string. Sounds like there's a little buzz in the string. Can you have a buzz there? Can you hear a buzz? Yeah, I can. Okay, so Wait, that's. Can you come fix this? Um, I can't do anything. That buzz is not. The buzz, the buzz might be a problem in the ukulele that can't be fixed. That's the bad. Well, I'll, I'll work on it. Okay, now play the F for me. Whoops. Change this finger. There you go. Yeah, great. It's just, it's just your uke has a buzz in that string. And hopefully it's just, just a matter of moving something like this or, or changing your string, okay? Okay. Because it didn't have that buzz before, so unless somebody's done something to it, you should. Are you keeping okay. it in a case? I have a case, yeah. Okay. Um, what kind of ukulele is that? Well, it's a uh, Lanica. 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 Okay. And what does it say inside for the numbers? Um, S. Model number. S T. There are some numbers in there, but you wanna, why don't you just hold it up to the, your, your camera and let me see if I Is can. it K? It's 11108. Can you hold it up to the camera so I can see? Oh, I can't. See it's it? K, it's 11108. Um, it, should, it should be like Lanakai KA32 or something like that or... It's Lanakai ST K11108. STK. Huh. Okay. Whose ukulele is that? My daughter Marie's. Do you ask her what kind of ukulele it is? If it's a soprano or it's a tenor. Marie, is this a soprano or a concert? Or a tenor? Um, it's, a it's a soprano. It's a soprano. Okay. Is it a long neck soprano? Uh, Pretty long neck. We don't know. Yeah, I think it's a long neck soprano, which is a really good ukulele. So, um, so I just need to work on getting that string. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get rid of that buzz there. Yeah, because it's buzzing even when I don't push it. Exactly, it's not your playing, it's, it's the string. Okay. Okay, 
and hopefully it's something that can be fixed. Yeah. If you guys can't fix it, look up Luthier in the, on the internet and find one. I know there's some in the area, guitar shops, that kind of thing that you can Yeah, that, okay, about. awesome. Yeah, okay, good job. Okay, Shauna, let's have you do the same thing. C, except I'm doing it too far. Just this string, just this one. Is everybody muted? Let me mute myself. Okay, make sure that you're not touching any of the fret, the fret bars. Make sure you're right in the middle between those fret bars and do that again. Great, great. Now do the F chord. Okay, you need to press down harder, okay? So, and remember you wanna press down harder, not only on this side of the ukulele, but also on the back with your thumb. So press harder, play that F chord. Beautiful, very nice. Yeah, you got it, very good. Okay, very good. Heather. Hi. Hi. Great, the F. Yeah, really good. Good job, Heather. Okay, Lizzie, I know you weren't here last time. I hope you watched one of the videos. Mm -hmm, I got to watch it. Okay, great. Great, F. Excellent. And Leanne, Lizzie is Diana's niece. <laughs> I know, that's fun to see Leanne here. Yeah. Okay, Mel. Very nice, F. Do that again. Go slower. I want it to be like this. Um. Let's see. I mean, I'm going to mute myself because I can't hear you very well. Very good. Okay, Jen. Remember, go slowly. Do it really slowly. Do the F again. Okay, great. Now F. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, everyone's doing fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to do this where you go C, F, C. Do you remember this? We did this last time, right? Did we do that? Right? Okay. Or did we do this one also? C, 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 hit, F, 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 hit. Did we do that one? Let's do that one first, okay? So here we go. So we're gonna go C, 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 hit, F, 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 hit, and repeat, and make sure that you're saying the name of the chord. All right, so here we go. C, one, two, three, four. C, 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 hit, F, 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 hit, C. Okay, now, when you're hitting is when you should be moving your hand. That's why we do this strum, because while you hit, that gives you time to move your hand. 
All right, so use that hit time. Mel, I need you to move your um, screen down just a bit so I can see your uke a little bit better. Yeah, Shauna, that's better. Okay, and I'll move mine down too. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. C, C, C. Hit. F, F, F. Hit. C, C, C. Hit. F, F, F. Hit. C, C, C. Hit. F, F, F. Hit. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways to play that. I want you to watch me and tell me which one is right. Okay? So here's number one. Watch me. Okay, that's number one. Here's number two. So which one is better? Number two. Why is number two better? Yes. Do not do this. Doing this is gonna give you so many problems later on. You're gonna play the C chord in so many songs, and if your hand is down here, you're gonna to have to move so far. Let me show you some of the chords you're gonna to have to go to from there. Here's a C chord, here's an E7 chord. If my hand is way down here, look at how I have to do this. Okay, here's another one, C, A minor. That makes it so much harder. And look, A minor is so easy. If I do this, see how easy that is? Look at C to F when I keep my hand in the right place. C, F, C, F. All I'm doing is moving my fingers. Notice I'm not even moving my hand. Everybody see that? And that's how you wanna play, is where your hand doesn't move an inch. Your wrist doesn't move, your arm doesn't move, you just, moving your fingers because the beautiful thing about C to F is that it's totally different fingers. So you want to take advantage of that and not move your hand. All right. As we learn other chords and things, we're going to always look for ways that you don't have to move anymore, that, that you move as little as possible because that makes it possible to say, play stuff fast and more complicated. All right, so let's get in this habit now. All right, so everyone, let's do this again. While you play, I want you to look at your hand, and I will not tell you that very often, but I want you to look at your hand and really notice if you're doing this, okay? Do not do that. Does everyone understand what I'm saying? If you don't, let's stop and talk about it some more. Everybody understands? Okay, here we go. One, two, Three, four. C, C, C. Stop. F, F, F. Stop. C, C, C. Stop. F, F, F. Stop. Leanne, make sure. Okay, Leanne. Leanne? I want you to play a C and I want you to keep your other fingers up here. Okay? Where's your thumb? Your thumb should be about up here. It should not be down there. Your thumb should be. Okay, that's great. Now, when you play C, don't bring your other fingers down. Keep them up here. Okay? So here we go again. One, two, three, four. C, C. C, stop, F, 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 stop, C, 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 stop, F, 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 stop, C, 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 stop.
stop. F, watch out, Lizzie. C, keep your fingers up, Lizzie. See, these fingers should be not bent like that. You're playing it with it bent like that. These fingers should not be bent. These fingers should just be laying on up here, ready to go here. If you have them bent down here, it's not gonna help you, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. C, C, C. Stop, F, F, F. Stop, C, C, C. Stop. F, 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 stop, C, 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 stop, F, 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 stop, C, C, watch out, Leanne, stop, F, 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 stop, C, 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 stop, F, 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 watch out, Shauna, C, C, Shauna, C, stop, F, 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 stop, C, 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 stop, F, Allison, be careful, C, 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 stop, F, F, F. What I want you to think about C, remember how we talked about hand position? Think of C as being this finger down and these two up. Everybody just do that right now. Just do it with your hand. Like you're doing a weird like love, I love you thing, but not quite, okay? So you've got this finger down and you've got these two up. That's how I want you to think of C, all right? So let's do that again now. You're doing much better, much better. Here we go, one, two, three, four. C, C, C. Stop, Allison, be careful. F, 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 stop. C, C, Allison, get those fingers up. There we go. F, 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 stop. C, 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 good. F, 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 stop. C, Heather, you're doing great. Jen, you're doing great. Mel, you're doing great. Lizzie, you're doing great. C, Shauna, you're doing great. F, 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 stop. C, 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 Leanne, be careful. F, F, F. Okay, so Leanne, everybody, I want you to write a note for yourself. Write a note. C chord, keep fingers one and two up. Write yourself a note somewhere so you see that, all right? Lizzie, your other aunt is here in Arizona with me. Trey, are you here? Yeah. You want to come say hi to Lizzie? <laughs> And to Leanne. And to Mel. You got three people in this class. Let me see. Hi. Trey. <laughs> good to see you guys. <laughs> Fun to see you. <laughs> You're sounding good. Trey's learning the ukulele too. Because she's going to Bangladesh with me when I go next time. That's what I was just wondering. I hope you make her practice. Oh, don't worry. You think I'm hard on you? <laughs> you should try having to be around me a lot. Uh, I will attest to the. Uh, <laughs> I will attest to the fact that she makes me practice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Let's do something different, and then we're going to come back to this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go C, F, and we're going to go really slow. C. F, okay? That might even be a little too fast. Let's go a little slower than that. So it'll be as if our C's are half notes, okay? One, two, three, four. C, F, C, F. 
does everybody here know how to tap your foot to music? So if you're tapping your foot, you would tap your foot two times for each one. So you'd go C, F, C, F. And the great thing is once you've, once you've strummed, you don't need to leave your hand there anymore. You can go ahead and move to the F and be ready to go. So you can't do it until you've strummed all the strings, but then you have all that time to move over here. Got it? Here we go. One, tap your foot. One, two, three, four. C move, F move, C move, F move, C move. F move, C move, F. Sorry, I was looking like I was strumming twice when I was saying move. So I won't, I won't, I'll try not to step to strum. It's hard because I'm counting. Okay, so I want you to say this with me. I want you to say move with me. All right, and C. So here we go. One, two, three, four. C move, F. Move C, move F, 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 move C. Okay, now, some people are forgetting, Lizzie especially, you're forgetting about keeping the fingers up here, right? But everybody wrote that down, correct? About the C chord, and I wanna make sure you look at that every single day. All right, so now let's go back and we're gonna do the C, 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 hit, F, 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 hit, all right? Here we go. One, two, three, Four. C, 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 hit, G7. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I was thinking about what we're doing next. One more time. One, two, three, four. C, 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 hit, G, F, 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 I'm sorry. C, 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 hit, F, 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 hit, C, 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 hit, F, 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 hit, C, 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 hit, F, 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 hit. Okay, so is it getting any easier? All right, and remember, the more you do this, the more you're gonna build up your calluses. Now the present of a new chord. Um, I just have to find my whiteboard. Oh, okay. So get ready to write this down. Remember, first you draw this, and the name of this chord is going to be G7. And remember, this diagram is as if your ukulele is here, right? 
So this is your top string, your high string, or your, your top, top string next. So you're not gonna play this string, you're gonna play on these strings down here. Okay, so we all got that? Did everybody get it? All right, now, what we're gonna do is put first finger where it was for F, the low one for F. So it's right here for the first finger is right there. Okay, and this is why we learn F first. Okay, right there for that. Now we're gonna take our second finger and we're gonna put it in the second fret right above the first finger, got that? And then the third finger is gonna go in that same fret, but down on the bottom string. So it should look like this. First finger is there, like F. Second finger is here. And third stringer, st finger is here. So it should sound like this. Okay, now you'll notice this, this chord is much harder than the other chords that we've done. And this is where we really see why it's so important that we have our left elbow out a little bit. If you're playing like this, you can't fit both fingers into that same fret. It's, your hand has got to be turned this way. Now, when I, when I play, I, I try to make sure that my hand's actually touching that, this tuning peg a little bit. And that's how I know if I really have myself out. See, if I'm, if I'm holding it exactly right, do you notice how, how like my body is kind of spread out? This arm's a little bit out, this arm's a little bit out. It's very comfortable. It's not, it's not something where I'm really having to work at it a little, you know? Shauna, lower your ukulele just a little bit. There you go. Now put your left arm out just a little bit more. There you go. Does that, is that comfortable for you? Not so much, get, get it so that it's comfortable. Now. You wanna have this part of your arm. I think I have a banana sticker on me. Okay, so you wanna, you wanna have this part of your arm right there, okay? And then it should go over to that, okay? There you go. And remember how we talked about holding it, you do that and then bring it out straight like that. Then bring it back in. Okay, and that way you've got your hand exactly where it's supposed to strum. It's not supposed to strum back here. It's supposed to strum right there. Okay. All right, so G7. And mine's out of tune because I have a string on this one that needs to get changed. And this is why it's so good to have a tuner right on your uke. Because when I can tell it's going out of tune, I just fix it. Okay, so G7. Okay, the only way to play this is to make sure that your hand is like this and not like this. If it's like this, you cannot play G7. Your hand has got to be like this. Leanne, put it out. There you go. There you go. Okay, all right. Here, Leanne, I want you to, to grab your uke right here for me. Leanne? Grab your uke right here for me with your right hand. Right here. Grab it right there. Grab it right there. Okay. Okay. I feel like I barely reach that. I know. I don't think that's a soprano ukulele because that's way bigger than a soprano. A soprano, do you see Shauna's is a soprano? Do you see how little hers is? Yeah. Yeah. And so, and, and so that's, that's the difference in the size. See, this is a soprano. And see, for me, a soprano, see how easy, how much littler this one is? See, I don't, I don't know. Is there a concert or a tenor there? Maybe it's not a soprano. It's a, I think it's a concert. Yeah, I think it's a concert. See, it's there. tuned to a soprano. That might be part well, of the The tuning's problem. exactly the same. The okay. tuning's the same. Now, notice that the body is, is, is similar in size, but a little bit bigger, right? the difference there yeah yeah and so and then also the fretboard is longer you see how much longer the fretboard is and so and so that's a big teller so i'm sure that that's a concert i'm sure that's a concert all right so everybody g7 
So I want you though, Leanne, I really want you to put this right here, okay? Right there. And, and some people find that they can't play with long shirts on, especially long sleeve, especially with sweatshirts. They have to push them up because you really want this against your arm and you don't want any of your sweater to be touching the strings. So just be careful. You might not have to, but you might have to be careful about that. You wanna be super comfortable holding your uke. Jen, can you, can you turn your screen down a little bit so I can see your uke a little bit better? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, tilt your screen down just a hair if it's possible. There, perfect. Okay, great. That's perfect. Yeah, okay, excellent. Okay, so everybody's got their uke right here, right? It should be enough that you, that you don't have any trouble just holding it with one hand, okay? So if anybody has questions, be sure and ask me, okay? This is the time to ask. The class is pretty small, so it's no problem answering your questions, okay? I yes. have a question. Um, is, where are you putting your thumb? Is it like kind of between back here? I yeah, wanna sure so right. you wanna make sure that your thumb is, some people play with their thumb way up. Now the problem with that, when you play with your thumb way up is look where my hand is. See how I don't have that much room for my hand? If I lower my thumb just a little bit, all of a sudden I have tons of room. Everybody try that. Just put your thumb way up here so it can show on the other side. And you notice how your palm is right here, right? So it's harder to just try doing this. Now, I want you to move your thumb down so it's about halfway down your ukulele on the back. Now I want you to do this. Do you see how much more room you have to play when you do that? Can everybody feel that difference? And so that's why we really want to not have our thumb up here. Sometimes you're going to do it, but if you can be in the habit of playing down here, you're going to be free to play a lot more. And we're going to end up doing some stuff, you know, where you're, where you're picking, you know, this kind of stuff. So you really want to be able to have, have use of your whole hand, not just a little bit of it. And your thumb is like down here as opposed to up here, right? Kind of right, back. yeah, it's not up in there. It's down okay. here. Okay. You'll, okay. Move it, you'll move it as you go up the ukulele. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Sure, thank you for asking. Okay, so let's try this G7 chord. Again, make sure that you're comfortable holding your uke. It should not be, it should not be a big stress. It's usually a little bit hard to get that left, sh that left elbow out a little bit, but that can kind of be offset by making sure that your right elbow is out a little bit. It should just be right in the middle of you, okay? Okay, so let's play that G7 chord, everyone. G7. Make sure, remember you're listening for buzzes. You don't wanna hear any buzzing and you also don't wanna hear any dead, any dead keys where you're, see how that does that, you hear that? This means that this finger, you see how it's flat? If I do that, then this finger is going to touch that string. The underneath of this finger is going to touch the wrong string. And then I get this sound. You see that? So if you get a wrong sound, that's probably what it means. Remember, you want to play with the claw hand. Okay? So you want all your fingers bent. You see it? Okay, now uh, let's go. We're going to do this just like we did for the others. I've got a dead string and that's why my second string sounds really bad. That's what I've got to get fixed on my uke. But do you hear how it rings? And we're just doing the exact same thing there. Okay, do that until you get a really nice sound and then we're gonna go one by one with the G7. Okay, Allison, let's have you go first. Sorry. Okay. Good, move your hand a little bit further this way so you get that right in that fret. It's kind of on your fret, your fret. Um. There you go. See, look at my fingers. If I have my fingers like this, do you see how they're both touching the fret bars? Yeah. Now if I turn my fingers like this, now it's super easy to be in between the fret bars. Does everybody see the difference there? Everyone look. If I have my hand like this, there is no way I can play the G7 chord without touching both fret bar bars. 
If I turn it like this though, it's so easy. It's between both fret bars and it has a lot of room. And the whole key to that is by having your hand this way and not this way, this way. Okay, so make sure, and you do that by just putting that elbow out there and you, you might be able to touch one of your tuning pegs with it when you do it the right way, okay? All right, so let's do that again, Allison. Great, do it again. Very good, do that again. Excellent, this is a very hard chord, all right? It's a very hard chord, it's just an absolutely essential one. That's why we learn it so early in. Um, plus, once we know this one, then we can start playing songs. So okay. try that again for me. Okay. Great. Beautiful. And do you see how learning the F chord really helps with this? Because you've already learned how to play this one without it buzzing. So now we're just adding those. Okay, very good. Okay, Leanne. And when it's not your turn to play for me, you're muted. So go right ahead and practice. Okay, Leanne. Play me that G7 chord. My fingers need tape on them. <laughs> okay, bring your elbow out. Okay, look, your hand is like this. I want your hand to go like that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. Exactly like that. Now, if I can get them pushed down. Okay, now you're playing the top string. Go down to the next one. Don't play this top string. Oh, that, okay. Yeah, that's a little easier. Yeah. Okay, now try it. Do it again. Yeah, beautiful. Sounds great. Sound good to you? Sounds really good. Okay, good. Shauna, let's have you do it. And everybody else, while they're doing it, go ahead and practice and listen to yourself. One more time. Get that buzz out of there. It's just your last string and it's a little bit touching that, that fret bar. So get it in there. Can you hear how it's not ringing that bo that bottom one? So no, it, it sounds be. good. To, it sounds okay on this end. Oh, it might just be the connection then. Yeah, it sounds okay to me. Whoops. Uh, no, I can't get that one. Great. Yeah, it's, a little... it's just this last one that has a little bit of a buzz and. Yeah. You, what you want to do is when you're playing, do you notice, everybody look how my hand is. Do you see how this finger is actually further up the ukulele and this finger is further that way? Try it when you look at your finger, see if you're doing it that way. Not this way, but this way. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So this yeah. finger, instead of being more that way, you want that yeah. finger to be back this way and that makes it easier. Okay. Now try it. Yeah. Yeah, that helps. Yeah. Okay, great. Good, good, good. Thank you. Okay. And write yourself a note to remember that one. Okay, Heather? Is that your daughter who keeps coming in? <laughs> uh, so last time was my daughter and this one is my son. They're 13 months apart and they are very much intrigued. They're trying to watch without being seen. <laughs> That's totally cool. How cold yeah. are they? Um, so they are four and five. Oh my gosh, they're, they're beautiful. Thank you. We just celebrated our adoption anniversary on, on Sunday. So, oh, congratulations. Did you get them both as babies? Um, so they were two months, 15 months, and then big brother was um, almost six. Um, and since then, mom has had one more and she chose to play. So we, we have all four of our youngest together and they're, they're exquisite. They're a lot of fun. Oh, that's so great. Congratulations. That's Thanks. awesome. This is like a Suzuki music lesson over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absorbing it all. Now you know what to get for birthdays and stuff. You can get Exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, now, Jen, I want you to move your, put your elbow out just a little bit more, this elbow, the left elbow, the left elbow, that one. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now play. Okay, remember how I showed you this finger? This finger should not be here, it should be back behind. Yes, big difference. Yes, so everybody write some kind of a note to themselves to help you remember to do that because that really makes a big difference in playing this chord. Okay, Jen, let's have, I mean, Lizzie, sorry, <laughs> calling you your mom. Let's... Okay. Very nice, very nice. Still, I would have you move your, move your hand a little bit this way. If you end up getting a, a concert ukulele later on, you'll need to have it out more. So, so try to have your hand, and go ahead and do that again for me now. Beautiful, really good. Okay, Mel. First, a question. Before you end up getting calluses, is it normal just to have them just sore? Yes, very you sore. Bruised? Yes, sore is, sore is what tells you that you're doing it right. If it's not sore, you're not, it's like weightlifting, right? Not that I haven't done that in a million years, but it's the same thing. It's gotta be real sore and then it gets strong. I've started playing with my pinky and I haven't played with my pinky much in the last few years. And it actually got what was kind of like a blister a little bit before that, but not really a blister, but it, it really hurt. And I was surprised because I hadn't had it happen for so long. So yeah. Hurting is good. That means you're gonna you're on your way to getting the calluses. So don't stop because it hurts or you have to go through it all again. Okay. Very nice. Beautiful. And do you have any word on your ukulele? Um, it keeps saying it's gonna be delivered. It's supposedly already in Los Angeles. It came from New Jersey, but it's been in Los Angeles since Saturday, but it says it's coming tomorrow. So we'll see. If not, I'll order the other one. Yeah, okay. Before you order the other one, let's talk too, so, okay. All right, Jen. Okay, Jen, I want you to move your hand out this way more. Yep, there you go. And then, so make it so that you actually touch your tuning peg there. Like, get it all the way out there so that it's touching your tuning peg. Okay, good. And then now, now remember, when you play with this finger, I want it to be back behind, not, not in front of. Do you understand what I mean? Go ahead and play. Play for me again. One more time. Yeah, great. You got it. Very nice. Okay. So now we're gonna do this. We're gonna go G7, and then we're gonna go to F, but look how cool this is. So we're playing G7, and now look at me. To play F, all you're gonna do is you're gonna leave this finger down, and you're gonna move this finger to here. That's all you're gonna do. So you're gonna go G7, and then you're just gonna move this one finger to that string. Got it, G7, and then just Take these two fingers off, but leave this finger down. Don't move this finger, this finger stays. So you've got G7 and then F. Everybody got that? G7 and then F. Pretty cool, yeah? G7, F. And we're gonna do that with all of our chords. We're gonna always look for ways that you keep your hand in the same place. It makes it a lot easier, okay? So let's just do that. We're gonna do the, the strum, 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 hit, strum, okay? We're gonna do G7 and F. So we're gonna start with G7. Here we go. Oh wait, now let's go from F, do F, play me F. And then to go to G7, you're gonna, again, keep that finger there and just put down these two fingers. So you're gonna go F, G7, F, G7, F, 
G7. And this finger stays on the whole time, just up here and then down here. Okay, so here we go. We're starting with G7 and then we go to F. One, two, three, four. G7, 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 hit, F, 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 hit, G7, 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 hit, F, 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 hit, G7, 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 hit, F, 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 hit, G7, 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 hit, F, 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 hit. How are you doing on that? How's it going? Is it, is it pretty easy? Okay, so now we're gonna do this. Now we're gonna go G7, go back to G7, now we're gonna go G7 to C, and this is even cooler, watch this. So G7, now I'm gonna lift up these fingers. Look at me, look at me, look at me. G7, now I'm gonna lift up these fingers, only this one's on, and I just slide down one fret. So G7, get G7 here. Now lift up these two fingers, and slide down one fret, and that's C. So let's play G7, C. G7, C. And this is a great time to practice that when you play your C, your fingers are up because those are the two that you're lifting. So G7, C. Now, going from C to G7 is harder, okay? So C to G7, you're gonna play C, slide up, and put these two fingers down, or what I do is I don't even keep that finger down. I just go C, and then I just lift it up and do G7. So now we're gonna go C, G7, C, G7, C, G7, but make sure when you're going from G7 to C that you're just sliding. Everybody got the slide down? Okay, now, a trick to playing G7 is this. When you play G7, I don't want you to think of it like one, two, three. Don't think of it that way, because that takes longer. What I want you to think of it as, is one, two, with these two fingers going down at the same time. So everybody put this finger down, just this one, just this one finger, okay? Now, I want you to do this. Just hit with these two fingers. And you wanna be hitting at the same time. You wanna make sure that your fingers are curved like this. Make sure, now Leanne, you're way down here on your uke. Your hand is way down there. Yeah, there you go. How are you doing on that? Can you do it? Now, this is something that you can practice without thinking about it. Remember we talked about that with the F chord, how you practice doing the F chord like that, right? We talked about that, did we? Did we talk about doing F chord like this? It's called the hammer the hammer hit. So with the G7, you keep that finger there and then you hammer with these two. Okay, so it's one, two. One, two, everyone do this together. One, two. 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 One, two, good. Now remember, you've got to have your elbow out, okay? You can't have your elbow in when you're doing this. You've got to have your elbow out. And the best way to practice this is to keep this finger here and just hit with these two, okay? So I want you to practice it like that. Then I want you to practice it like this. One, two, 
one, two, one, two. But first I want you to just practice it like this. Hit, hit, hit. Just those two fingers by themselves. Then I want you to practice it. One, two, one, two. Okay, does that make sense? Not really? Unmute yourself, Jen. I don't understand the distinction between the two things. Okay. The first one, they, they look the same to me. Okay, so for the first one, for the first one, you're gonna keep this finger down the whole time. So this one, this finger's down, and you're only hitting with these two fingers, just these two. So you're just hitting with those two fingers, okay? Now the second one, every time you do it, you're gonna put this down and then those two. So for the first one, it's just one, 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 one. But for the second one, it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, and so what I'll write for your homework for that is I'll say uh, G7 chord, um, uh, hit once and then hit twice. Does that make sense if I say that? So hit once means that you keep this finger down and you're just hitting one time. Hit twice means that you're gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two. Does this make sense? So hit once is just one, one, one. Hit twice, two times is one, two, one, two. All right, and you wanna really get familiar with this chord. This chord is used all the time, all right? So now, now we're gonna do C, play me a C chord. Then an F chord. Then a G7 chord. And then a C chord. If you quit right now, you can still play most of the songs in the world. Those are the three chords that you need. I hope you don't quit, but if you did, though you can play pretty much anything that you wanted. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. By the way, that's the first song we're gonna learn. Um, so, um, those three chords, but you got to know them really well so that then we can start adding the strum pattern and the singing. So you can't do this without practicing. All right. Got to practice 20 minutes a day is enough, but don't do less than 20, 20 is your minimum. All right. And again, you can do it two 10 minute times. You can do it four or five minute times. Um, I recommend the two 10, 10 minutes. Um, and if you want to go longer, go longer, but make sure you get in at least, at least that much. Okay. So now for homework, I'm going to have you do C, F, C, F, just like we did before. Right. And then we're going to go C, G7, C, G7, and then you're going to go F. G7, F, G7, and I'll write this out and I'll put it, everyone here is in the Facebook group, right? So, so we're gonna go C to F, then we're gonna go C, no, then we're gonna go, um, yeah, F to G7, and then C to G7, all right? Got it? Okay, and, and this is really important. We're gonna do it this way. Down, 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 hit. C, F, down, down, hit. C, down, down, hit. F, down, down, hit. Okay, and you keep doing it until it gets easy. Make sure that you're listening. Don't let yourself quit before you're ready, all right? So you're gonna do it that way, and then you're also going to do it much more slowly. C, F, C, F. So just like we talked about before, all right? So 
you're going to do it two different strums. The first drum is down, 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 hit, down, 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 hit. The second strum goes much more slowly and it's just down, 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 down. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so then the third thing I want you to do is I want you to keep doing this where you're really listening to your strings, all right? And when you play C, I want you to really look at your hands. Make sure that you're not doing this on C, okay? Then you're gonna do it on F. Make sure you're getting a really nice tone on all of them, and then G7. Really listen, okay? Everybody, does this totally make sense? So three things for homework, all right? So, okay. And I will write this in the, I will write this in the notes for the class. Okay, any more questions, anybody? Okay, awesome, awesome. I love you guys. This is super fun for me. I hope you're having a good time and I will see you all Thank next week. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. The key is practice. Is fun. I need band-aids. <laughs> sure, just let it hurt. It's going to hurt, but it should only really hurt for about a week. And then when it starts really hurting, that's when you're getting close to getting the calluses, okay? Two weeks tops, if you practice every day. If you don't, then you have to hurt way longer. So just don't <laughs> do that. Okay. All right, guys. See you all next week. Bye. Tell me if you have any questions.